Hi there, I'm Graham Floyd, and in this video I'm going to show you a simple movement that you can use to help make playing bar chords just a little bit easier. Learning to play bar chords can be a real pain. Compared to playing open chords that you learn in the early stages of playing the guitar, bar chords seem impossible. However difficult they may be, bar chords are super important for you to get down as a guitarist. And they'll allow you to play chords that you otherwise wouldn't be able to play just using open chords. When I teach my guitar students bar chords, there's one particular aspect that they all seem to struggle with. Namely, using the first finger to press down all of the strings of the guitar at once and having them ring out cleanly. When first trying to play the chords, they'll usually try to pull against the neck or use the wrist or the arm or the elbow or the shoulder to try to put more pressure on the strings. And although you get a little bit more force, ultimately it just doesn't work terribly well. To help make playing bar chords a little easier, I want you to try this simple movement. Using your fretting hand, make an OK symbol by placing the tip of your index finger against your thumb. Once in this position, lightly press the index finger against the thumb while the thumb resists. Your thumb won't move, but the smallest knuckle of your index finger will flatten out. Relax the finger and the knuckle will raise back up, returning to the starting position. This is the movement you want to use when playing bar chords, as the index finger and the thumb are doing the work to push the strings down. Using this movement with bar chords on your guitar is essentially the same. The only difference is that you now have the neck of the guitar between your thumb and the index finger. When you flatten out the index finger, it will more evenly press down the strings that you're trying to bar and make it that much easier for them to ring out. Practice doing this wiggling motion with the index finger and the thumb until you can freely control it. This movement works for two, three, and four string bar chords, but when it comes to five and six string bar chords, we need to adjust the movement just a little bit. We're going to use this OK exercise again, but the starting position is going to be a little different. Make the OK symbol with your thumb and index finger again, but this time, instead of placing the tip of the index finger on the thumb, you're going to stretch out the fingers and place the pad of the index finger against the thumb. Once in this position, you will once again lightly press with the index finger against the thumb to have it flatten out. However, this time, it'll be the entire index finger that flattens and not just a single knuckle. Keep in mind that because your fingers are extended, this motion is going to be much more subtle than the first position. So your index finger is going to move up and down in a much, much smaller space. With this position, you'll be able to flatten out the finger across five and even six strings, possibly even more if you play an, a seven or eight string guitar. Spend time practicing both of these movements until they become automatic. I hope this quick tip has helped to make playing bar chords a little bit easier for you. And if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below and I'll do my best to help you out. As always, if you found this useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Of course, click on the little bell icon for immediate updates when I post future lessons and other guitar-related content. Anyway, thanks so much. I'm Graham Floyd. Cheers.